Well, everyone in the city of Beacon has something to say about a certain old style traffic light that some unaware drivers have been crashing into recently. News 12's Ben Nandy went to check out this quote dummy light to find out what's so special about it and how the city's planning to prevent further accidents. This here at Maine and East Maine is a dummy light. It's been here in some form since 1926, and it's one of two left in New York State. It's called a dummy light because a traffic cop would stand on the platform directing traffic, but then for safety reasons, the light would replace the cop. Some recent accidents sparked conversation on social media about the light. Residents say it has to be kept. People were very, very, very firm about that. Chris and Babette Brown tell me it's things like this that give Beacon its special charm. So many new changes that it's nice to have something that you remember, you know, for people who've been living here 20, 30 years. Earlier this summer, a city work truck backed into it and knocked it over. The city repaired it. Then on Tuesday, someone whacked it with their car. Other cities have gotten rid of their dummy lights to avoid these kinds of crashes. Beacon? To any suggestion that this light should be replaced with one up high above traffic, the people of Beacon say no, 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 no. This is staying right here. The president of the Beacon Historical Society, Diane Lapis, holds lessons about the light for kids, and she helps get these postcards on store racks all over town. Here, you can even dress up as the dummy light. It appears Lapis's lessons took because the community can't get enough of it. I think it's important for a city to have an iconic image that they can feel a part of. You know, it's so rare. Like, where else do you find one? The city administrator tells me it's often a visitor or a newer resident who hits the light. Marilyn Riccatilli says the light is not the problem. The dummy is, shouldn't be called a dummy light, it should be called dummy people. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure everyone sees the dummy light, city officials plan to put some signage and reflective markings on it. Because of the overwhelming support for the dummy light, city leaders say they're leaving it right here. Ben Nandy, News 12.